good morning everybody welcome to my channel i am fortune another hope and today we're gonna do a video a back to the basics using drugstore products first we're gonna start with i have l'oreal foundation and the powder foundation and gonna be using the elf cameo concealer and the elf 16 cameo concealer those are good combinations for me and I've already done my brows so that is the elf instant lift brow pencil in the shade deep brown and the L'Oreal true match crayon corrector I use that as a defining of my eyebrows. And the next gel. Of course, my trusty, dusty orange corrector. This one should be done today because I had to go buy another one last weekend. So I'm just gonna correct, color correct, orange. Yeah. Elf. My Elf Polis Putty Primer. I'm about to put this on, prime my face. I've already done my skincare already. So I'm just priming, rubbing it in. I don't really have a problem with sweat or, or oily skin or really with my texture of my, ooh, excuse me, texture of my skin. So. It's just good to prime my skin prior to me putting on any makeup. I'm still keeping my glow for my day day skincare. And I notice on my side of my face mask. I'm still wearing the mask, even though I'm vaxxed. I I'm fully vaxxed. I still wear that mask, and I think I'm breaking out but look at it my face looks good she's ready to go so now I'm going into my corrector LA girl orange corrector so I'm just going to put it on yeah this one's just about done she's done squeeze and use the last of it that I can so but I do have a backup so I'm good so I'm going to take this and massage this in my trusty favorite sponge I've always had this sponge I've always used it strictly for this I was having a problem with my mirror. I'm just like, I maybe mean, I need to get a bigger mirror because this mirror, it's an impressions vanity mirror, the little trifle. It's it it did it do, but I think I need to get a bigger mirror. Because as you can see in the rest of this video, I am struggling with this mirror. I had to break out. It's ridiculous. We'll see. So, blend it out pretty good, my color correct. So now, infallible L'Oreal 24 hour fresh, and that is the shade 505. So now, just shaking 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 it this look I normally do for like uh, get ready to you know go to work something quick and simple because the fact that I'm filming is longer but this is like ready all day get together that's my black beauty bakery I normally put on a little one pump on the face first and then I'll get my trusty dusty foundation brush and put one pump 
and I go over it again. So I just give it a little thin line liner first, check to see the coverage first, and then I'll go into another pump and on a foundation brush, and the brush I used was my Morphe's Y7 brush to put on another layer. So it's just basically two pumps, two layers. So I'm just blending it in, making sure it's good. And this one, the infallible 24 hour foundation has a sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 25. But I also noticed that there's a little glow. Maybe it was just my skincare, but he gave me this, as you see, he gave me this glow, this radiance. I'm loving it. I ain't complaining, but I'm just like, woo wee, look at that. Look at me glow, baby. So that's one pump. Here we go with the other one. It's gonna have another pump. So that's two pumps, small pumps, not no big pumps. And I'm just going in on top. Just blending. I don't want really to have that much blending to do. Because I already put some on. So I just want to get a little bit more of a full coverage. Oh, my baby hair. Oh, Lord Jesus. Not my baby hair. Duh, my edges. I'm just blending. Blending it in. Watch out for my brows. And... Now I'm gonna have more of a dewy, glowy look. So that's gonna all come down. It looks good though. It looks really good. I can't complain. Get up under them that nose, that nose, the chin, the neck, get the neck. Okay. Still filling with that mirror. Mm-mm-mm. Okay back to business alrighty so we got the foundation good to go just want to make sure it's all in no streaks no lines she's looking good mm. get that eye corner all right mm. Not bad if I say myself. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> so now going in with this Maybelline. Now this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Multi-Use Concealer. It was brand new. I got the wrong one by mistake. So I'm twirling. I'm twirling trying to get the product to come up through the sponge. And it twirled and it. I'm turning and I'm turning and turning and turning. And I'm waiting for it to come up. And it finally came up, but it was like, uh, uh, wait. No. Mm-mm. Twirl again. Don't come for me unless I twirl for you. Hey. I know I'm not sitting up here singing Kenya more phrases. I'm twirling. I like this foundation. This uh, I like it, but I, I need to use it some more. This is like like you know, basically my first time using it, but it, it did pretty good. But I just gotta use it, work with it some more, cause I was I was getting frustrated, really frustrated. So <sighs> I'm going in with that. That is the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish in the shade Medium Beige. Don't sleep on Elf, y'all. I'm just adding it on. Now, because I put that Maybelline one on first, and then I put the Elf, I just wanted to dry down some. I know Elf is real creamy, but it's my first time using that Maybelline, so I didn't want to take no chances of it drying up. So I'm gonna go right ahead and start blending. Y'all see, I'm still using that trusty, dusty, effective Morphe effective sponge. So 
so I'm just going around my mouth, concealing around there. I need to hurry up and get my eyes and stuff before this stuff gets stuck on my face. And it did, but I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna do what it do, I'm gonna get it done, but look at that coverage though. Take it up on the eyebrow. Hmm. Looks pretty good so far. Mirror, Fenty to the rescue. Hmm. There we go. Get up under there. So I'm just gonna do an easy, my everyday look. Whether I'm going to work, well, I work from home, but email went out, gotta be working from home. Uh, Zoom meetings, or we go into the office. So I said, Zoom meeting. I don't feel like driving, getting dressed, going, going inside, it's hot. So, get that bridge on my nose, that forehead, turn it around, but, 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 blend, blend, blend. It looks good. I have to say for myself, it looks real good. Like I said, I gotta work with, work some more with that Maybelline eraser. I gotta work with it. But she look good. I think I might have to go in with some Elf. Look like I got a little was too thin or something it wasn't just didn't look right so I'm going back in with elf yeah a couple of drops no oh, one swag that's enough there we go this will work I know for sure all right so I'm gonna blend blend Press and make sure the creases. Now I notice when I use Elf, I don't get as much creases as I do. Well, really, I don't really get any creases under my eye like I do with Juvia's. Now Juvia's, I could put on there. That's my babe, but I still get some creases. But this right here, I can use Elf. I don't get no creases under my eye. So I'm looking and getting my trusty dusty uh, setting powder. Getting ready to set it up under my eye. I just want to blend everything out just to make sure before I set everything. Maybelline fit me, and I am in the shade 30. I'm almost done with this one. I cannot wait until I'm done. I think a couple more videos and I'll be done with this. I have a backup, so I'm not really worried. But look how that goes on in my eye. No creases. Mm, mm, mm. I need to break in and finish, uh, put a dent on this elf ring. This is good, but no crease. Flawless. Get the chin. I'm putting the powder around everywhere I put the concealer at. And I'm going to go up my bridge on my nose. Okay. She looking good. Look at that. Flawless. Clean, smooth canvas. There we go. Now I'll just get a little bit more around that chin. Blend everything in. Everything is pressed in. So let's see. What am I gonna get into next? The fallible. I'm using this as my setting powder. 
what else I have my Y Morphe Y7 brush and I'm just using that as my setting powder just like I do when I use any other foundations I use the Fenty powder foundation as my setting powder on my foundation whether it's Fenty NARS ABH I use that as a setting powder so I'm just using that foundation to set everything on my face on my skin complexion routine and I've noticed when I do that with Fenty and with this it just looks complete it looks really flawless it just looks like everything is where it needs to be and it holds it so Moving things around. So now I'm looking for a brush. Let's take that back. I'm looking for a palette. <laughs> oh, I thought I had it out. That is Black Radiance Contour. Now this spray right here, the Elf spray, the Elf Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting, it is fine. It is so fine. You see how I'm spraying and it like it comes out like it comes out but it's so fine like you like in spurts. So I'm like it's on there but it just comes out. You know you're used to that then it comes in so now I'm just gonna pack that in. I got up the powder and let the powder push the powder into my skin. But yeah, that elf, I don't know. But then I have my trusty Dusty. You'll see. So now, I'm just going to, looking for my powder now, my brush now, contour. The uh, Black Radiance Medium to Dark Palette. I just want to get up there in the hollows of my of my cheeks. That looks good. Get up there. Do my number three. Like I said, I'm using all drugstore. All drugstore. When I mean drugstore. It could be CVS, Walgreens, Eckerd's, Alfredson, Kroger's. Walmart, Target, ACB, you know, I got them from them stores. Alta carries them, but you know, Alta is a makeup store, so. But these are, uh, you know, you can find them in the drugstore. You can find them in the drugstore. Some of them, you check your beauty supply stores, uh, they have them there. I know my store has NYX, Kiss. Uh, the beauty supply shop store they have them so these are all drugstore products that I'm using going back to the basics quick and simple every day get ready work zoom meetings even church so let's get into this now I'm out to contour my nose using the black radiance contour the middle shade it's gonna contour contour take it down my button nose and i'm gonna take it up to my eyes around the, my eyebrow just gonna sculpt it Now right here, after I sculpt it, I could just leave it and just take a brush and run that same color contour into my eyes, in the crease, throw on some blush, a lip gloss, and mascara, and be done. Be done. But I want a little color today. I need some color. Sculpt my nose. 
All right. See? I'm basically, I could be done right now. But, put in a little extra today. Next. Even though I got some concealer and, and foundation, I just want to make sure that, because I'm putting this, I'm using some color. I just want to make sure it's a smooth canvas. On the bed. My son just delivered a package. We gonna see what's in that package at the end. So, Fenty to the rescue. So I'm just putting this on. Eyelid, my eyebrow. It wasn't that much. I just put a little bit. Then go on doing the other eye. Alrighty, just getting these eyes prepped and ready for the eyeshadows. She's done. Now, I already have powder on this brush, on I mean, this sponge, so I'm just gonna put a little bit on there so I have a smooth canvas when I lay down these, uh, this eyeshadow. So now, here comes my baby. Deanna Profusion, this is my baby. As you can see, that's my baby. Like one and done, one swipe, anything. Look at them colors. Look at them colors. Sienna, that's the OG favorites. So I'm looking at it, and I'm going to go in with Fearless as my transition. And they also, Profusion has the brushes that some of the palettes have the brush that comes with it and that's what I'm using here is a Profusion brush. Some of their palettes come with it, some of their palettes don't. You can find them at Walmart. I don't know, Target may have them, but Walmart or the Profusion website. Look at that. They're pigmented. You can build them up or you can go light handily with them, but they're good. I love their foundations. I have, I don't know how many. I think I got 10 Profusion palettes. They have the ruby, they have the nude, they have the purple, they have the emerald. They're gorgeous. So I want to just bring it down and take it on my eyelid a little bit but yeah so then I'm gonna go into the such brushes I'm gonna go into DAPA and I'm putting that in my crease it on and just drag it give a little more definition but look at that buff it take it up a little I know I'm probably losing some of my transition but I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do that but look at that color just putting that all in my crease just windshield wipe and circle emotions Take it over to the inner corner, back to the outer. Mm, she looked good. Pat it and then drag it. Swipe, windshield, circle emotions, and blend. Blend it into the crease. Looking good. And that's a Morphe brush I'm using. Morphe fluffy brush. A E30. So 
Okay, looking good. It's coming together. I'm just gonna go back with Fearless and fuse out my edges from the top of my eye, uh, that crease and merge it with Dapper. I can have no harshness, no lines. Just gonna blend it to where they all meet, get my outer V, connect them all and blend it all together. So now I'm looking and I'm like, oh, what are we going into? We going into madly, right into the crease. It's a dark burgundy, a burnt burgundy, a ruby color. I'm putting that right in the crease. Give it a little dimension in my crease. Just packing it in and I'm just rubbing it all, blending it all in my crease. Okay, just blend, blend, blend. Get my V. Perfect. Hmm, okay. Now, I'm thinking, should I leave it or should I add a shimmer? I gotta get over here and get this V first. But I'm thinking, what should I do? Should I just leave it all matte? Or should I pop something in there? Come on, Fortunata, what you gonna do? Get that V straight. Yeah, I get that V right there. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, y'all yeah, know what we gonna do. We about to pop Conquest on the eyelid with my fingers. Let's see. Patting it, then swiping it on, and let's see. Ooh. Mm-hmm. I need to get some more on here. It look good though. Oh she getting the shimmer. That looks good. I just want to clean it up a little bit. Ooh. Got some more. But I think I might in I might wet my finger and then go in there. Yeah, where my spray? Mario, where you at? I'm talking about Mario Badasco. Badasco. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about, Mario. Putting some more on there. Let's see if it'll. Because I forgot to put the NYX glitter on there because I didn't think I was going to do one. So that's why I sprayed the Mario Badascu. So, sorry. But it still looked good. It still looks good. So now I'm going to spray my finger and then I'm going to go into it for the other eye. I put it on both fingers like I have one and the other so I ain't got to keep on dipping back in. But it looks good though. Just a little bit more. Yes. Now, I'm gonna get my flat brush or whatever and clean it up a little bit. And spread it, just spread it around with my flat brush. I got that flat brush a long, long time ago and it's still good. 
I think it was Amazon or something that came in an Ipsy or something years ago back in 2016, 17. And that bad boy is still with me and it still does the trick. Now I'm just cleaning up. Oh my God. Around it. Let's go back in and just tidy up, do a little house cleaning. Clean up around that shimmer. Try not to make sure I don't lose or go over the shimmer. So. Good. Just a little touch up. A little touch up. It looks good. It's just something that you would like pop on if you're just running to the store, or running to the office, you gotta go in. You know, I could do this without recording, what have you, maybe 20 minutes, if not less, and be out the door, ready to go to work, to drive to work. So I'm just getting in with my, under my highlights, putting some of that shimmer on my highlights, of my eyebrow, and that's it. I think I'll go in a little bit. Trying to get to that inner corner. And we almost done here, y'all. Looks good. All right. I just want to get up under that crease. Since I added a little bit more sh shimmer. Alrighty. Alright. Alrighty. Gotta make sure they're looking good, they're looking even on both sides, on both eyes. And get on. Let's go ahead, let's do this under eye. Let's clean up underneath it. And to and to be honest, I didn't have that much, I didn't have no fallout. I just want to clean up around here on my outer corner. I, excuse me, bless me. I, I sneezed. And that's it. And just clean up in there in case of. But nothing fell out. I had no fallout. I had no fallout. So she looking good. So I'm putting some more powder under there to get brighten it up a little bit more more setting powder uh, foundation powder just to brighten it up a little bit because like I'm looking kind of dull so I'm looking for which blush am I going to use and I think I'm going to go with Milani I just don't know which one I'm gonna go with. Looking for my brush. Hmm, she's looking good. Scratch that, I'm contouring again. Setting that contour in. Now it's Milani. Didn't know which one to choose. The Barrier More or the Rose. So I went with the Rose. Rose Berry Barrier More with Milani. Ooh. Look good. Look rosy cheeks. Look at that. Got a little shimmer in there. Highlights. 
yes. That looks pretty. Ooh. Hmm. Get that chin? Yes. You see that? Mm-hmm. Make sure I get me a nice good lip with this. Hmm. There's my baby. Save the day. Elf. That is Elf Matte Magic Mist Set. Yes. Let me fan it. Let me fan it. Go ahead. Mm. Still got a glow. Still got a little bronze. Well, yeah, a little bronze. So. Going in to do my under eyes. Much fit a little bit from the V under my eye using a dapper, which I put in right above or right above my crease on my crease line. So putting that in there. Okay, drag that, give it a little, bring it all together. Now I'm going into Madly and go up under there, go up under Dapper. This is a sequence, semi-sequence of the layers of shadows I put on my eye. So get that. Ooh, what's this? Who's it? Huh. Ooh, a gift. That is from my YouTuber, fellow YouTuber, Tressa, Blue Living, at Blue Living. Follow her on YouTube, y'all. She's fabulous. She said she was sending me something. So. Now, I'm trying to figure out which lip I want to use. I, mean, I know it's going to be NYX. NYX Extra, Extra, L, Lingerie. I'm like, mmm. One looked like a little bit too light. I was like, no, I need a little bit darker. So I ended up pulling out Sizzlin'. And let's just see how this goes. Mmm. That looks good. Now I just gotta go over here. I see I messed up, so I need yeah. Fenty, where you at? I gotta fix that mirror. I gotta get a bigger mirror. That's a pretty color. So, just fixing it up, cleaning it up. That's an elf sponge wet that I had put set aside. So if I need to make clear up, clean up anything or what have you, but that looks good. That's looking real good. Just want to touch up around it. Type on my face. It's a face powder. It really has nothing on there. I just want to just smooth. Make sure everything is looking flawless. So. That is my good old 
Oh my god. Next, I have gel eyeliner in the shade Esmeralda. Yeah, I know I gotta put some type of color on my waterline, and it's always either Elf, I'm not sorry, NYX, Ulta, or Marc Jacobs. I have some Wet n Wild that I put aside, but NYX, Ulta, a teal color on the eye, that's my favorite, that's my thing. And I'm just gonna just make sure it looks all the way even across on both eyes. I think I nipped and I put a little bit too much on one. But I'm like, okay, that's enough. So next, I just got this Essence What the Fake Volumizing Lengthening Mascara. I did a haul with Ulta. And I was like, I need some more Essence Mascara. And the one I normally use is the Lash Princess, the one with the teal light green. But then I saw they had this one online. I was like, let me try it out. And oh my God, I love it. Look, oh my lashes. Mmm. Here's the finished result, but I forgot the highlight. This is I Love Revolution Tasty Apple. This highlighter is bomb. Look at that. Look at that. Even though I had a shimmer off of uh, Milani, I have to put this on. And I'm using the Real Technique brush. And I just want to just go on here and this is make her shine or glow a little bit more just add on to that Milani that Milani uh, berry more get my chin get up under here look look I'm glowing that I, for some reason I like putting it right there on my eyebrow right above up underneath you know button nose there we go mm. y'all tomorrow i'll be putting out a video tomorrow i'll be doing bingo palette first time i seen i seen my girl smiley shiny dude so she basically sparked me charged me to do it so i'll be doing that video tomorrow so look finish the results mm. that color even came out nice the lipstick Bye. Wait. Let's see what did my blue living Tressa send me before I sign off. So. What in the. <gasps> oh. Oh my God. She sent me Tom Ford Foundation. <laughs> it's my first Tom Ford. It's my first time for it. Hey, ow. Oh my God. I was, I have not tried Tom Ford at all. My God, look at that. Oh my and I had God. looked on this site and I was like, oh my God. Is this and the one I was match? looking this the, the shade Golden is almond. the right, is the shade she sent me. Golden Almond. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. That's love, y'all. That's love. Oh my God! See, you we seen that in the video. Mm. Thank you for you loving. 